Next on our Whistle Stop tour of classic games that I bought in the summer sale, Prince of Persia The Sands of Time. Not the first Prince of Persia game ever made, but it is the first one that was developed by uh, Ubisoft after they bought the franchise and it came out in 2003? I, I think 2000. I literally checked this 10 minutes ago. I wanted to sound all professional. I think it's 2003. I think. I've left my phone in the other room so I can't check. I'm gonna go with 2003. Um, yeah, so it came out in probably 2003, and I played it, like, a lot. Like, like really a lot. I don't know exactly how many times I've played this game, but let's just say I've played it so many times, I could probably recite it to you by heart. Probably. I think that's probably true. I probably could. Should we give it a go? Most people think time is like a river that runs swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you they are wrong. Time is an ocean and a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down and I will tell you a tale. Something, something, st I will tell you a tale like none of you have ever heard. See, I knew I knew it. I bloody knew I knew it, yes. Uh, so yeah, I've played this game quite a lot. <laughs> quite a lot. I could, uh, I could probably go on, but we should probably dive straight in. So here we are. This is us. This is Aladdin, or whatever his name is. Does he have a name? I don't know, I can't remember the prince ever having a name. I think he's just the prince, anyway. Uh, he's fully clothed at the minute, that's a novelty that won't last very long. Um, anyway, yes, we should probably just uh, we should probably just head through these glowing curtains. That seems like a good starting point. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. Told ya! But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Yeah, it's an ocean in a storm. It is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India. Where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Help, my son. Maharaja's treasure vaults lie within. See how he fights. Like a warrior son. Do you think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought? Or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell? If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. Yeah, so um, we're the bad guys, just in case you hadn't uh, already figured that out. And in a moment, a cannonball's going to come down and kill those people. Yep, there we go. There they go, all sort of smashed into tiny little pieces. Oh, they didn't even manage to get the door open. That's sad. So anyway, this is us, the prince. Um, I like the prince. He's probably one of my uh, he's probably one of my favourite game protagonists, like non RPG protagonists. Anyway, he's probably one of my absolute favourites. I find him incredibly adorable. I think he's very sweet and very lovely and very much just like a little puppy dog who you want to scratch behind the ears. I think he's very, very, very adorable. And uh, we are just sort of invading a uh, <laughs> invading somebody else's castle just for the fun of it at the moment. And we can jump over here. Yep, there we go. And and we can also run up walls and we can jump up onto things and uh, and another thing's going to come down and destroy that bridge and at this point we are going to face the first challenge of the game which is trying to negotiate the bloody horrific camera angles i'm going to tell you right now the camera angles in this game have made me rage quit more than once i'm going to demonstrate for you right now just why these camera angles are so terrible right so right now we're dealing with a fairly fairly standard normal camera angle here 
And if I hit my, if I hit W, I walk forwards. If I hit S, I walk backwards. All very standard stuff, not too difficult at all. The moment I get to the edge of here, just edge my way forward. There we go, the camera's gonna change. Completely randomly, right on the edge. With no warning, the camera is going to change. At this point, if I push W, I run off into the background there. Which means, if you're kind of heading towards the edge of this uh, ledge and you decide to take a running jump, like this, you end up throwing yourself off the side of the wall. <laughs> and it's really bloody irritating, and this happens so many times in this game. And honestly, it's, it's the only bit about this game that I don't like. It's absolutely horrible. Right, if we just get to the edge, if we press F, that'll put us in first person mode. Now, if I just jump there we go yeah yeah and then i nearly fell off the edge again so that's sort of how you're meant to do it i don't know why that's how you're meant to do it i i can never see the logic for having camera angles like that at all also all of the battle sounds have disappeared the battle sounds meant to have disappeared everything's gone eerily quiet huh okay i we're just gonna ignore that uh right keep running there we go yep you've got a big swingy stick that's fine, because I can do... I can run over you! There we go. I, and then do it again. And slow motion camera, and round he goes and behead him. Did we behead him? We might have beheaded him. And more people to fight, and jump, and slash, and... Way! Don't stab me in the back while I'm being impressive and fancy. That's not fair. There we go. And he's going to do a dramatic sword put away. Yes. When he does his dramatic sword put away, that's how you know there aren't any enemies. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Well, quite. <laughs> I feel like he's maybe a Shakespearean actor in his, uh, in his spare time. Drink some magic water, that'll heal me. Yes. Um, yes, I find, I just think he's absolutely wonderful. Everything about him, the way he walks, the way he fights, his beautiful, beautiful voice, his wonderful theatrical way of talking. I just, I just adore him. I think he's so adorable and lovely and very English. I'm going to admit, for a prince of Persia, he does sound quite English, but, you know, we're just gonna... <laughs> We're just going to uh, overlook that. There we go. Okay, so there's bad people down there if I just jump down these rocks. And then I can't see the bad people because of the camera angles. And then I did a dramatic jump because everything the prince does is dramatic. Oh, I'm a little bit surrounded. Okay, do your, do your leap. There we go. And then do another leap. And then just keep leaping. There we go. They, can, they can't outwit my fancy footwork. Was that all of them? That was all of them. Marvellous. Ooh, more things coming into... Uh to destroy stuff. Yes, run along the wall. There we go. <laughs> I find that unbelievably adorable as well. Just watch him. Just watch his little feet go. Oh, he's so precious. I feel like he'd be excellent on Strictly Come Dancing, you know. I feel like he'd be absolutely perfect on Strictly. I feel like that would that would be a thing to watch. That would. Okay. Uh, do I need any magical healing? No, I don't. Brilliant. There's some more people for me to kill, though. So... Oh, we've got a cutscene. Yep, more boulders coming down, that's brilliant. And there's a broken ladder. There's some bad people. There's me. Fascinating. Yep, we know the drill. Just do our uh, do our fancy thing. Keep rolling and just keep hitting space and clicking, really. That's how the, the combat goes. Oh, blimey, that was very fancy. Okay. Is that them? Is that it? Are we done? We're done. Brilliant. Right. I think we need to get round to that uh, that convenient hole that was blasted in the wall. So if we just jump up here and then shimmy our way along and drop. I just saw somebody. Yep, there's more people for me to kill. Brilliant. And we you can do like wall runs, wall run attacks, can't you? Is that a thing I remember? Being able to like jump off walls and things. I can't quite remember. I mean, we're doing all right for now. I don't feel like I really need to do anything uh Fancier than what I'm doing. Yes, dramatic sword put away. Brilliant. <laughs> Basically everything in this game is just a little bit ridiculous and overdramatic, which is kind of what I love about it. Um, one of the things about, um, I think I need to do, oh, I need to do a little jump over here. One of the things about um, 
Because there is a sequel. This is the first in a trilogy. There, uh, it, the sequel was Warrior Within, and then the third one was The Two Thrones, possibly. I think that's what it was called. Um, I never played the third one. I did pick up uh, Warrior Within, and I've started it a few times, but I've never finished it because um, it was weird. They sort of went, they went for a much darker kind of theme with Warrior Within. Everything went very sort of dark and uh, sort of sinister and it was more violent and there was lots of blood and stuff like that and it was kind of weird because this game's so happy and bright and the prince is so naive and wonderful and innocent and just adorable and then in warrior within they sort of it's like he's going through his angsty teenage phase where he starts sort of wearing leather and putting eyeliner on and listening to rock music and things like that that's kind of the vibe i got with warrior within i mean it go it takes a very weirdly dark turn like literally the first boss battle you have is with a sexy bdsm lady who's dressed in leather and chains and i'm pretty sure she has a whip I can't remember entirely, but I'm pretty sure she has a whip. And the entire thing is just a bit weird, and he's there trying to be all, like, dark and sexy and sensual. And it's like, love, you're too adorable to be sexy, all right? You're just, you're too lovely and nice and innocent. Just stop trying with this kind of dark, sinister thing. It's not working for you at all. Apparently, the third game went more back to, like, uh, the original sort of feel. Apparently they sort of toned down uh, the darker stuff that went on in... Um... Shall I continue my story from here? The next oh, time we're interrupted. blimey. Yes, that's, that's very kind of you, offering me a save game like that. Um, yes, apparently the third game went uh, went sort Done. of more back to what this I'll one was start like. The story but from here next time. I never actually uh, played it. Just because I could never finish the second one and I didn't know, you know, how much the uh, story followed along. But yeah, I could, I could never really get through the second one. Plus there was like weird sort of... Um, I was going to say there was weird time travel stuff going on and on. I mean, there's weird timey stuff going on in this one as well. It's kind of the entire point of the game. But, um... Is this the way I was meant to go? This is not the way I was meant to go. Um, yeah, there was, like, sort of weird stuff where you, you're, like, in one area and then you're in the same area, but, like, back in time and it's all different and wibbly. And I just got incredibly confused about what was going on and what was happening in the story. It was very strange. Do a little leap over here. Ooh, slow motion leap. Very lovely. Yes, the game does occasionally just randomly go into slow motion for reasons I can never quite work out, but that's fine. And, uh, ooh, do we have to do a little, uh, a little boop and boop. There we go. And there it lay. Just out of reach. The Dagger of Time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Yes, if you could only get there. It's a, it's a good thing you can like run along walls and stuff, isn't it? Although the, uh, the camera is against you, I'll be honest, your majesty. I think uh, the biggest issue we're going to have is trying to figure out what the camera wants to do. Oh, it's, it's showing me dramatic stuff. Oh yes, here we go. This is the... Uh, this is the defense systems that uh, castles apparently have installed. Avoid spiky poles. Yes, advice for life. Marvelous. If we just want to drop down here. Luckily, of course, the castle's defense systems are set up in such a way that you can uh, you can quite easily avoid them, which, uh, you know, is, is marvelous design on their part there. Drop down here. And that's going to collapse. Drop down. Way! All right, blimey. <laughs> that was a bit sneaky. And that's going to collapse, and we'll shimmy along here, and that's going to collapse, and we'll jump up here. Luckily, you know, it's going to conveniently collapse in a manner that, you know, we can still get across. That's absolutely fine. And drop down here. Okay, now we can leap to this pillar. Brilliant. And then it's going to show us a nice cutscene. The game does just like to occasionally show you. Like, this is where you're supposed to be going. We're going to mark it out in big letters for you. <laughs> Like, it's usually pretty obvious where you're supposed to be going. This isn't the kind of game that gives you multiple paths or anything like that. We're just gonna uh, shift the our way over here and then slide down. Ooh, blimey. Imagine the friction burn you must get off that. Also, I destroyed that crate into oblivion by landing on it. That's interesting. Yes, I remember all of this. And then we go boop, 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 boop. And there we are. I wonder if that's a thing you could do in real life. I've often, I often wonder how sort of realistic platforming is in games like this. Is that a thing you could do in real life? Because your first instinct is no. And then you go on YouTube and you find some fascinating videos of people doing things like scaling cliffs without any ropes and things like that. And you sort of think, ah, maybe it's not so bizarre after all. Sad. Yep, 
so now we've got a magic dagger that can uh, rewind time. It's time to get out. Now. Yes, time to get out. Marvellously good idea. If the camera would like to behave itself so I can actually figure out which way I'm going. There we go. Okay, yes, the camera. The camera is your biggest enemy in this game. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. And they, they have spikes under the floor because of course they do. And then, then I just randomly jump to my death for no reason. Possibly to tutorialize the fact that I can rewind time, which is... Nice. The miracle I had experienced by accident in the Maharaja's treasure room, I now discovered that I could trigger at will. By pressing a switch on the dagger's handle, I could turn back time. Yes, I know. Very exciting, isn't it? Hey, more spikes, marvelous. Okay, run through the spikes, run through the spikes, run through the spikes, and then I think we should find, yep, a convenient alcove. The designers of this castle were, you know, very, very um, considerate towards the needs of invaders. I'm just going to say, <laughs> I kind of wonder if the architects of the castle were actually planning on robbing the place or something like that and put in all of these uh, these convenient uh, ways of getting past the defences. Right, climb up here. Oh, then we get then we get a random cutscene. Okay. Oh. Father, I have brought us honour and glory. <gasps> oh, and he's already lost his hat. There's the first part of the uh, the strip tease. You promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger! Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. Ooh, now he's gonna bang his stick in frustration. There we go. <laughs> I find him quite cute as well. You know, for, a, for an evil villain. Some exotic animals for his menagerie. And who doesn't slay girls? He appears to be coughing up blood, which is a mild concern. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Saraman is merciful in victory. And there's Jasmine. No, Farah. I know her name. Her name's definitely Farah. I know that because she's one of my favourites. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you had given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world, and yet... The best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. No! Give it to 
Yeah, so we've uh, we've doomed the world and turned everybody into sand zombies. I really wasn't joking when I said uh, we're the bad guy. Yep, take a sand. Okay, so in order to kill the zombies, you have to uh, hit them with the dagger once they're down. There we go. Dramatic stab, and then we steal a sand. They rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possess them could I liberate them from their monstrous living room. I love how he does the whole, I soon realized, yeah, that's because Farah told you sweetness, all right? <laughs> Stop pretending you're the hero here. Okay, is that all of them or is there more? Well, he hasn't done the dramatic sword put away. Yep, there's more. Luckily, these early ones aren't too difficult to take out. You just have to do the kind of leapy over them. Uh, it's the later ones who uh, do counter attacks if you try to leap over them. They're the real pain in the arse. Right, jumpy over you, marvellous. Yes, let's just step into the glowing sand. Why not? I'm sure that can't go wrong at all. And then we get a vision of the future, because of course we do. And then we get the option to save our game. So uh, this is how this is how saves work in. Uh, I'll start the story from here next time. In Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia is one of those games that has loads of ways of explaining game mechanics. Um, are you going to say something you now? Me mad. Yeah. I can see it by the look in your eyes. You think my story is impossible. Perhaps I am mad. Who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived? But I assure you, every word is true. God, I love him so much. He's just so overdramatic and ridiculous. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yes, they're save points. So you have, like, checkpoints. And you walk into one of these and you get to save the game. Um, <clears throat> so, oh, blind me, the ceiling's falling, on me, falling in on me. Yeah, it's one of those games that has loads of ways of explaining game mechanics like game saves. And it does it in, by the fact that um, he's actually telling a story. So he's sitting down with uh, Farah and he's telling her the story. Um, so you can basically assume that every sort of save point he's kind of, you know, that's the point where they take a break to go and get a cup of tea or something and he's like, oh, well, we'll just start off uh, where we left off when we get back. Also, I need to drink some magical water to get my health back. There we go. And now he's lost his hat. You can see his fabulous, fabulous hair. <laughs> his hair is so fabulous, just like the rest of him. You are the most fabulous uh, protagonist. Don't do a nasty scowl at me to try and look badass and hard. We all know that you're an adorable little puppy dog, really. Okay, anyway, we need to follow Farah because uh, she's the brains <laughs> of the game who actually knows what's happening. And uh, where is she? There she is. She's patiently waiting for us. That's uh, very kind of her. And now there's magic sand everywhere. Yeah, okay. I don't think she's worried about you hurting her, sweetness. You're... <laughs> You don't exactly scream threatening, do you, darling? Right, if we just want to do a little run along here and then drop down, that should be fine. Where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me who yet clung to life? Hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. This is a bloody big bed. Like, this is a seriously big bed. This bed is almost the size of the room I am literally sitting in at this moment. That is... That is a ridiculously big bed. And this room... Probably bigger than my flat. I think... I think this is... Probably... Meh, let's say it's the size of my flat, maybe. It might actually be bigger than my flat. <laughs> It's certainly bigger than any of the individual rooms in my flat. Never mind, let's go in there, suck up this magic sand. There we go. Retrieving eight sand clouds will give the dagger a new sand tank, which means we can rewind more often. All very simple, really. And leap. And leap. And leap. See what I mean? He's so fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous prince. Everything he does is so flamboyant and wonderful and brilliant. I just, I just think he's so wonderful. Right, and swing, swing, jump. Brilliant. Right, where's Farah then? Is she hiding around here somewhere? Oh, there she is. Is the ceiling going to cave in again? Of course it is. Had I really seen her? Or had my senses given way under the burden of horrors too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. 
Yep, okay, brilliant. I mean, I don't blame you. Farah is pretty amazing. I like Farah. She's definitely my favourite. I always wanted a spin-off game where you got to play as Farah, but uh, that never happened. Probably because games with female protagonists don't sell, eh, Ubisoft? Mm. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying nothing else. We're straying too far into controversial territory. Oh dear, the sand people waiting in uh, in that room for me. Sand people? Sand people are from Star Wars, aren't they? You know what I mean. Are sand people called sand people in all of Star Wars, or is it only Knights of the Old Republic that call them sand people? Uh, I'm not entirely certain. Star Wars is one of those weird things where I have seen all of the films, but I was very, very young at the time, so I don't really remember most of them. Although I, I did, um, I found the prequel trilogy in a charity shop recently and got it, so I've rewatched them. Um, it's funny because when I was a kid and I watched them, I literally just enjoyed the uh, the lightsaber battles. That's <laughs> that's it. That's all I was interested in. I like the lightsaber battles and the robots and uh, you know all of the fancy clothes and everything. I paid absolutely no attention to the storyline, so it, it really didn't matter to me that it made no sense. You know what it's like when you're a kid. Like nothing makes sense to you and you just don't question it. You don't you don't even care. Um, but then uh, rewatching them as an adult. I was like, the story still makes no sense. I still have no idea what's going on. Uh, it was quite an interesting experience. But yes, anyway, Star Wars, it's, it's one of those weird things where I have watched the films, but I've played Star Wars games more. So all of my Star Wars knowledge comes from, uh, comes from the games, not the actual films. I just randomly decided to hug that pillar. Never mind, I'm hugging lots of pillars. Can I please get off the pillars? There we go. <laughs> you know what? That is just such a such a prince thing to do. That's such a thing that the prince would do. Mid-battle, just decide he wants to hug a pillar. That's brilliant. Okay. Uh, where's that dead guy? There he is. Can we stab him, please? There we go. And stab the other one. No, not the alive one. For God's sake, why would you stab the alive one? I soon discovered that when they collected all the cell, the dagger gained the power to stop time. Not for me, but for the enemy I struck. Yes, so when you uh, when you get more um, sandy things, when you collect enough sand, the the, uh, the dagger gains new powers. So now if I stab a non-dead one um, with the dagger, he will like freeze and then I can cut them to pieces, which is very, very nice. Now I need to get up to that hole in the wall, wherever that is. Where am I going? Am I going up the uh, up the things? Probably. And another save point, because this is early in the game and it's very, uh, very generous with save points early in the game. Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus like fever dreams? Each time I awoke feeling drained and beaten, and each time what I had seen came to pass, as if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus? <laughs> oh god, he's just so beautifully camp, I just can't get over it. <laughs> Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus? Um, okay, who played the prince in the film? I've never seen the film. Uh, I assumed it was rubbish because films of uh, films of games often are. Um, but I, I have nothing to base those accusations on. I can't drink from this fountain for some reason. Can't drink from the fountain. That's interesting. Yes, I have nothing. I have nothing to base that on. It might be a wonderful film. I just never saw it. But uh, who who played him? Because I feel like it should have been somebody who. <laughs> who spends most of their time in Shakespeare. Right, anyway, I need to dramatically smash some things. There we go, dramatically smash, because just moving furniture out of the way, oh, that's uh, that's not a thing I have time for. Right, just uh, suck up some sand, as you do, and then we've got, a, we've got a thing we need to do over here. I think if we just run up the way, hang on, put your swords away. Run up the wall, run up the wall. You're gonna run up, you don't wanna run up the wall, you just wanna, you, oh. Okay, there we go. Do you want me to... What am I meant to be doing? All oh, right, there we go, okay. If for some reason that wall, that wall is not a run upable wall for whatever reason. Oh, and here we have our, here we have our first, hey, don't fall off the thing. We have our first, uh, yes, mysterious corridor where the music goes all mystical and we walk through, we walk through the, uh, 
the hanging drapes and into the darkness. And then we end up in Fairyland. Hello? Is anyone there? I have a feeling I'm not in Azad anymore. Oh, really, do you? You have that feeling. You're very quick on the uptake, my friend. Here's a random fountain in the middle. Should we drink from it? Yes, of course we should. You should always drink from a strange magical fountain when you find yourself in Fairyland. Yeah, so we just gained more health and that will happen numerous times throughout the game. You will find random holes in the wall, you'll go through, there's a mystical corridor, there's strange whispering voices, you drink from the fountain and then you get more health. This is never explained at all. It's just a thing that happens. It's just, it's just, just a thing we're not going to question. Ooh, cutscene, there she goes. Give me the dagger. Ugh. Oh, blind me, the audio's out of sync. Okay. The daughter of the Maharaja from whom you stole it. This is your doing. I saw my father turn. Yeah, okay, the audio's completely out of sync. We're just gonna just ignore that. Give me the dagger to undo what you have done. Your traitorous vizier used the same words. From now on, I trust no one but myself. Run! Yay! Okay. Yeah, slight audio problems there. Let's just uh, let's just forget about that. Now there's some scarab beetles I need to kill. Brilliant. Or oh, sand beetles. Probably sand beetles, aren't they? Okay. Is that them dealt with? Yes. So yes, Farah Farah can get through tiny little holes because she's very small, and I'm apparently not. Since we left India, she had been there. In the desert, I had felt her dark eyes upon me. Now, here she was again. She and I, the only two survivors. Did I say two? Excuse me. We were three. three. Yeah. <laughs> Always enjoy that bit. Um, right, yes. I do find it weird the way he talks about Farah because at the end of the game, you find out that it's Farah that he's telling the story to. Like, it, it, I mean, spoilers, but yeah, it, she's the one he's telling the story to. So it's kind of weird the way he talks about it, but never mind. Um, yeah. Um, where am I going? Is this where I came from? No, it's not where I came from because there's magical sand! Run towards edge and press space to jump. Yes, we, we've done this game for heaven's sake. It's very heavy on the uh, tutorials, this game, I have to say. Uh, and then, are we going to get a little cutscene with the gargoyles? I like the gargoyles. The hourglass. What? I did not understand the meaning of what I had just seen, but I knew, with a certainty I could not explain, that those winged creatures had a master. The man who had tricked me into opening the hourglass now had his prize, and for some unknown purpose coveted the dagger as well, would stop at nothing to possess it. Well, I would give him what he sought. I would plunge it into his foul and treacherous heart. Okay, so he's now figured out that the, uh, he's now figured out that the, um, I'm gonna get a nice camera angle where we can see the top of the, uh, tower. Uh, there it is, that's where we need to get through, the top of the tower, right up there. Um, what was I saying? Yes, he's finally figured out that the bad guy is in fact the bad guy. <laughs> Which I feel like it's not a great revelation to anybody who's played the game so far, but you know, uh, apparently he's only just figured it out. Uh, yay, 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 yay! Bloody hell, you know, he did a forward roll of the thing. Right, just hug this pillar. Yep, and round, and leap, and round, and leap, and round, and leap. And then leap to these convenient handholds over here. Drop down, brilliant. And then, always, way, okay, yes, always fling yourself off the side of the floor. That's a thing that you should do. Always look for the shadow so you know where to jump. And down we go, and then there's going to be some beetles. Yes, I remember this part of the game very well. I know it like the back of my bloody hand, love. Back of my bloody hand. Well, I mean, that was very... Yeah. That was very cinematic there, that wasn't it? Yeah, blimey, okay. Um, 
jump, 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 slash. Uh, okay, um, where am I going? I believe I'm going over here. And wait, that that's not what I wanted you to do, Prince. There we go. And boop. That's that's definitely not what I was supposed to do. Let's just let's just go back a little bit. Okay, what am I supposed to do then? Oh, I'm just supposed to go down to the floor. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sometimes the most obvious solution is the hardest one to see. Oh, now we've got the sexy lady zombies coming in. Everybody loves sexy lady zombies. Did you just stab me when I was trying to kill the sexy lady zombie? That's very rude. That one's walking in completely the wrong direction. I've just noticed the uh, the lady zombies, their, um, their hair covers their eyes, which would explain why she was walking in the wrong direction. Oh, yep, right in the arse. Okay, is that it? That's it, brilliant. Okay, where am I going from here? Is there a, uh... Yeah, there's a hidden thing behind here, isn't there? No, there's not a hidden thing. Am I meant to be... What am I doing? I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. There's the hidden thing. I knew there was a hidden thing somewhere. There's also some sand over there. And I believe I need to drink some magical water. Yes, there we go. Hey, blimey! All right. <laughs> Just nearly flung myself off to my death there. Uh, run along the wall and jump. And more sand. There we go, new sand tank created. And then if we stand on the magic button, that'll open the magic door. Yes, yeah, so now we're getting into like the puzzling stuff. And then the bridge falls in. Of course the bridge falls in. Every bloody bridge collapses. There's one bit where he's walking along in a cutscene and the bridge collapses and he falls down. And I was like, you know what? Every single bridge up until this point has collapsed. You really should have... Uh, Really should have expected that. Okay, yes, so stand on the button, door open, stand off the button, door close. Box, move box onto button, yes. I know how this works, I've played Portal. And push, 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 box onto button, excellent. Oh, bloody hell, it's this one, yeah. Mm, this might take a short while. Bloody hell, camera, will you just calm down? Behave yourself, camera, behave yourself. Right, pull the switch back. And that should, uh, that should give us the uh, bridge. Run, 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 jump! Ooh, just. Oh, thank God! I was afraid you were one of them! Can you help me activate the Azad defense system? It'll take both of us to do it! I'll reset the axles for you! The man who's normally in charge of this got... Never mind. Ride the platform down to the bottom. Then use those two cranks to bring it back up. You see those four axles? You'll need to pick them up one by one until you've got all four. Then bring them up to the top Together! Make sure you pick them up in the right order! <laughs> oh, God. Right, um, has an accent ever sounded more out of place? Right. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten just how joyous that accent was. That's uh, that's made my day, that has. I have to say, Ubisoft, um... That's it! We... One crank turns the platform! The other one... Raises and lowers it! Alright, mate, I'm not bloody deaf! Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Ubisoft, what was I saying? Ubisoft have definitely got better at um, accents over the years. If there's one thing the new Assassin's Creed games tell us, it's that. What am I doing? That's it! You've got the first axle! Now, pick up the other three! Okay, don't worry, he doesn't live for very long. Remember, pay attention! To the right. Hang on a minute. Okay, so I need to get it up to there, but I need to have like all of them in at the same time, don't I? We need to go and get. Hmm. We need to go and get the black one, I think. Then. Then like the crescent moon one, and then the black and white one. That's two. Okay, so we've got two, and then if we go up. Up, 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 
Then if we swing ourselves round, we'll be able to get up and then down into that one. Yeah, I've got it figured out. Don't worry. Right, okay. Trouble is, now I'm too far up to actually be able to see what I am um, doing. So that's that one. That's this one. Okay, I, we need to go, like, round that way. That way. Brilliant. <laughs> Managed to get it the right way first time. That's amazing. Wait. That's not going to work, is it? Because then we're not going to be able to... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get back up again. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, yeah, so we need to get this one. Just one more! Yes, thank you. <laughs> Bizarrely accented man. Right, um... That's four! Now, bring them up to the top and line them up with their gears! God, he sounds so excited, doesn't he? Okay, let's, uh, let's go back up. Up, 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 and are we lined up? We are not lined up, so we need to go, we need to go the other way, for heaven's sake, and then this way, and um, that should be, oh, that's the wrong way. That's it! I knew you could do it! Thank you! <laughs> you believed in me. Now! There's one last step. Uh huh. To see that platform. Yes. Throw your lever, and I'll throw mine. Excellent. Throw my lever. What bloody lever? That that one what up there. What manner of machine is this? I told you, it's the palace's defense system. Stop wasting time. Throw your lever. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, love, calm down, and jump. <laughs> We did it! Serve those accursed demons right! Oh, by God, they'll rue the day they ever dared attack the Palace of Azad! Yep, so now we've got defences to deal with, which is brilliant. <laughs> As if my life wasn't difficult enough already. Oh, oh, oh dear, are you being murdered? Or are you you turning into a sand zombie? He's turned into a sand zombie! Brilliant! Does that mean he'll finally bloody well shut up now? I'm not sure I can even get up to him down there. Oh, blimey! He's come down to me! Never mind! Okay. Okay, was it just the two of them? I think it was just the two of them. Yeah, so did he drop down? Yeah, okay. Stop giving me cinematic cutscenes, for heaven's sake. I just want to figure out whether that guy dropped down or whether he's still up there. I think he dropped down. I can't get up there, can I? up there. No, I can't get up there. Ooh, nice backflip. And thus ended the tale of the Cockney Persian guard. <laughs> Who shall be missed? Well, I say Cockney. Probably actual Cockneys would, um, would cringe at the accent, but never mind. Also, I am well aware that Cockney isn't the accent, is it? It's to do with, like, where I'll you're born and stuff, here, isn't it? Time. You have to be born within the something of the something. I don't know. I'm not from London. What have I done? What have you done? You've, you've started, uh, You've, start, you've started the defense systems to fight the zombies, right? It'll be fine. Walk very slowly, did that say? How do I walk slowly? I press shift. Brilliant. I mean, I could just, like, jump over them. I'm quite good at jumping. Anyway, yes. Walk slowly across the spikes, and then the spikes won't kill me. And then just just dodge around here. <laughs> Even creeping, he's camp. Look, look, look how camp he is. Oh, he's just so adorable and lovely. Yes, just... just Edge over there, marvellous. And then here's a switch. The palace's defences had a twisted logic of their own. They could be circumvented by using the strategically placed switches which I soon learned to recognise. Yet it was hard to escape the feeling that I had made a terrible mistake by setting in motion such a deadly system of traps, which seemed in truth more likely to claim my life than that of an invader that was not flesh and blood. Okay, yeah, so, you know, we've done possibly a bad thing. Uh, okay, get up here so we don't get uh, destroyed by razor blades. And then jump and drop, 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 drop. There we go. And then shimmy, 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 shimmy. And then jump. No, 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 no. Jump, jump, jump. For God's sake, these bloody camera angles. I swear to God. Right, just jump. There we go. Right. And then... Up here, and hopefully when we uh, hopefully when we get to the other end, the um, oh dear, the door will still be open. Uh, we should probably get up. I think we move faster if we're come on and leap. 
and leap and walk 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 and leap and there we go don't even have to roll oh the courtyard yes i remember the courtyard oh blind me the camera's freaking out i'm literally touching nothing <laughs> This is, this is what you have to deal with in uh, Sands of Time. Right, there we go, big fellas. Oh, and now we're up here. Okay, bloody hell. Use the wall for rebound attacks. Um, Hang on, I can't see what I'm bloody well doing, man. Right, use the wall for rebound attacks. How do I do that? There we go. Ooh, that wasn't very nice. He hit me with his club while I was murdering his friend. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, okay. Just backflip, backflip, backflip. There we go. Just dazzle them with your fabulousness. Okay, was that it? There we go. That wasn't nearly as difficult as I remember it being. Maybe it's the, uh, maybe it's the puzzle that's difficult. Uh, okay, where was that? Where was that thing? There it is. Right, so now we've got another puzzle to solve. I should probably think about stopping the video at some point, shouldn't I? I need to uh, drink some magical water. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea how long we've been going for or anything like that. This was meant to be like a little short 20 minute thing. I wanted, I wanted to make these videos short, but this is what Prince of Persia does to me. It just sort of, I, I get kind of swept away in everything. Ooh, there's a thing. Right, there's a switch on that wall. Okay, what does that do? That, that makes, that makes that go up. Brilliant. So I could like jump up here and then, then I can get onto there. Marvellous. I don't quite know why they would have a switch halfway up the wall, unless being able to like wall run and jump and things like that is just sort of standard in this universe. That's possibly a thing. And um, there's, there's a thing that's going to try and kill me. I can, I can I do a wall run past it? Probably can, but... If I remember correctly, right, you wait, you wait, oh, bloody camera, for God's sake, behave yourself. So you wait, you wait, get as close as you can, you wait, 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 roll, roll, there we go. Yeah, it is definitely the camera angles that will always screw you up in this, for God's sake, run along the wall, run, there we go. Oh, blimey, okay, that's, that's a bit much, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Okay, um, I can't even figure out how to, uh, actually, you know, I know, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Run over the edge, run over the edge, run over the edge. For God's sake, literally every other time, every other time I've walked up to a thing, he just randomly jumps over the edge. Not here, apparently. Okay, I don't know if I can actually rewind far enough to, uh, to not do that. That's so irritating. Literally every time, every single time you run into a, you run into a thing, he will just, 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 just run, 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 die. Yes, okay. And I think I've got myself stuck in an unwinnable loop. There we go. Ooh, I thought that was the end for a minute there. Right, Um. okay, there's a switch. How am I gonna get to that switch? There we go, and jump. And I could really use a fountain now. Yes, I know, dramatic camera and hmm. Hmm, I'm going to have to do a wall run. And, oh, blimey, are, are you tired, darling? Are you tired, love? It's okay. It's okay. It'll be over soon, I'm sure. Um, hmm, yes, I'm going to have to do a wall run. But if I do a wall run, I'm going to trigger the spikes. Can I, yeah, uh, can I do a wall run with, like, without doing a run-up? Can I do something? Oh, yeah, now you're going to jump over the bloody edge, aren't you? Can I, like, can I do... I don't know, I can't remember how I'm supposed to do this. Way! Okay, that's not very fair. The moment you jump back over the spikes instantly kill you. That's not fair at all. Does that mean that I'm now like stuck here? I I think I think I think I might be stuck here. I think I might just be like Yep, there we go. What if I drop down? Can I can I does that kill that kills me as well? Okay, so Okay, so I'm now stuck in an infinite death loop where all I can do is die and then rewind and then die and then rewind and actually I'm 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 out of rewinds right now so I, I can't even do that I just I'm, I'm I'm facing certain death right now that's that's a thing oh wait hang on a minute hang on can I can I make that jump can I jump like over yes I bloody well can oh wow 
I wasn't expecting that to be a thing. Oh, I was all set to end the video. I was gonna like fall to my death and it was gonna be like a dramatic end and I was gonna say that's the end of the Prince of Persia and, and he's just dead now forever. It was gonna be all dramatic, but I've found a way to survive. And you know what? I'm now kind of really tempted to turn this into like a full series. It wasn't going to be, it was going to be a little one-off. I was going to do little one-off videos of all of the games that I bought in that sale, but you know what? I mean, I'm going to finish it anyway. I can't not finish, finish Prince of Persia. Should we do like a complete series? Should I do that? I mean, it won't be very long. It's not a long game. We could do that over like a week or something. Because Mass Effect 2 is on its way. It's, uh, it's in production at the minute. Um, oh, he crosses his hands behind his back if you leave him too long and looks really forlorn. Oh, bless him. Oh, bless your little heart, Prince. Oh, darling. Right, okay, that's settled. We are doing We're doing a complete series. I can't abandon the prince now. He's too adorable and too lovely. He'll be back at some point. I don't know when. I don't even know what day this is going up. I don't know anything, really, to be honest, but at some point he'll be back. Soon. Maybe tomorrow. Or the day after. I don't know. He'll be back. But until then, he's just going to stand there with his hands crossed behind his back, waiting patiently for me to do something which is terribly, terribly polite of him.